Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. I just want to uh, share some thoughts about um, Islam and the freedom of speech. I have to say this straight away that I love Muslims, I respect Muslims, um, but we have to be honest about the actual situation that we live in. And at the moment the West is decadent, the West uh, uh, has become decadent, it's been decadent for a long time and it's rapidly uh, moving towards more and more decadence. Um, as it does that there will be moral anarchy within in Britain and in Europe and in America. There will be moral anarchy because uh, the states, the nation states have given up their Judeo-Christian heritage and uh, political correctness is, is in no way uh, have enough strength or elasticity to hold a nation together or nations together uh, whether it be ideologically or morally so what you're going to have is uh, 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 an intellectual, spiritual and moral vacuum within the West and we see that today as this is happening we have the elites and those who feel that they have gained the upper hand these uh, kind of Antifa and, and gay rights movement of the political correct movement in, in the UK and Europe and America they feel that they've kind of gained the upper hand that they've, they've kind of getting what they want but as they move towards rapidly forcing their agenda within Western culture what is happening is things are, 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 are deteriorating rapidly where we, we, we begin to see moral anarchy take place. As we see the unfolding of moral anarchy in place there's already now a movement in the Western nations of a strong Islamic voice. This voice will get stronger and stronger and stronger and eventually this voice is working in the West, the Islamic voice is working within the West to undermine the Western civilization. The, the Muslim agenda is to Islamicize Western civilization. Now when that happens, if that happens, freedom of speech will go, the political correct brigade will evaporate, gay rights will evaporate, and with that religious freedom so the Jews, the Christians and Hindus and Sikhs will lose their freedom and with that the, the atheists will lose their freedom so at this moment in time we're, we're at a state where there is a a taking over of western culture by the political correct brigade they're rapidly moving towards implementing the social agenda you can see that with the little kids, they're trying to get the little kids to not know whether they're a boy or a girl these days, you know. It's that this is them rapidly pushing their agenda. But as they do that, they don't realise that they're actually sowing the seeds of the destruction. They've sown the seeds of the destruction of Western culture. And the West is, at the moment, collapsing. And basically, the whole moral fabric is just deteriorating. And there will be anarchy. As there is anarchy, there will be a void having to be filled. And Islam will try to fill that void. The Muslim, um, the Muslim communities around the West, their, their main leaders, their intellectuals, their writers, their philosophers, their theologians, um, and, and, and wealthy and powerful Muslims in the West, they're using the freedom of speech in the West to be able to push the Islamic agenda. Eventually, when the moral vacuum collapses, and, and they're very cunning, they're very cunning and clever. So, for example, uh, you find in that there are Muslim apologists who supposedly are, are gay, but they're not practicing gay. And, and this is a front, this is an affront to the West to, sh to, to try and hoodwink the West to 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 make people think that Islam's friendly to gay to gay people 
which everybody knows who does any bit of research knows that in the Quran and in and in um, in Sharia law, uh, if Islam took control of the West, then gay people will will have a very difficult time. So the Muslim uh, leaders they they present these apologists that are friendly to Western culture. Um, they they um, are pouring money into European nations where they're building mosques. And these mosques aren't just small mosques. These are like massive community mosques. Like, like they're just absolutely huge. If you go to Oldham, the mosques there are absolutely huge. They don't need to be as big as they are. But they're there to try and inculcate themselves into the community so people are using these day centers so that they can become Islamified. And so there is a billions of pounds have been have been poured into the UK and around uh, Western nations to Islamify the West with the building of mosques. The missionary societies are well funded. Um, there uh, they have politicians in their pocket in Western culture. Um, they do block voting where they're able to. Uh, have a political influence uh, in Western nations, and basically they're using the Western culture and the freedom of speech to take over the West. Now, when they take over the West, they won't be democracies; they will be theocracies. And when they, have, when Britain, God forbid, if they try to get Britain. And Britain becomes uh, an Islamic theocracy, or Holland, or any other nation that becomes an Islamic theocracy, you ain't going to be having freedom of speech. So we're in a situation at the moment where the seeds are there already. The destruction of Western culture by these crazy, uh, politically correct people who think they're they're morally righteous and taking us down this so-called morally righteous thing where everybody every minority has got rights uh, but Christianity has not got it rights anymore in, 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 in Western culture but everybody else has the rights and they think they're really smart they're going down that path and, and but it's leaving a vacuum the vacuum will be taken over by Islam so in the midst of that vacuum there now has been a game changer with Tommy Robinson's book, Muhammad's Quran. That book, and I say this very solemnly and very, very seriously, and I really mean this, but that book has sowed the seed of civil war in Western civilization and culture. Because in the vacuum of is the vacuum of political correctness, where political correctness disintegrates and moral anarchy comes, Islam will begin to move in in Western nations and begin to take the moral high ground and begin to push its weight around politically, and begin to move towards democ uh, theocracy within Western nations. But at the same time as that push has come, Tommy Robinson's book now is now created a firewall and, and will create and inoculate another culture which will be anti-Islamic and ferociously so. So you're going to see in the next few years a strong military movement towards resisting theocracy as political correctness crumbles as nations begin to become uh, anarchy, uh, full of anarchy as uh, Islam grows stronger and stronger in the West there will be this other force that will realize what's happening and it will be of anti-Islamic backlash but it won't just be uh, in a situation where um, we're talking a few bombs here and there. We're talking proper military backlash like you've got in the Ukraine where you have two parts of the nation fighting each other. So you're going to have civil war in England, civil war in Holland. Civ you're going to have civil war. This will be in the next 10 to 20 years. 
it might be sooner it might be later but that's what's going to happen that's where we're headed and Tommy Robinson's book really has prepared the ground I, I don't think he meant it to do but it, it will and has and will continue to prepare the ground for civil war if if he wouldn't have written that book Islam would have taken over by de facto in the next 20 years now that he's written that book Islam isn't going to take over as easily as it think thought it should do what you're going to see is a civil war and who wins who knows um, but that is what I see that is what I see I see political correctness is sowing the seeds of the destruction of Western civilization. I see Islam growing and filling in this vacuum. But I see now another movement that Toby Robinson's book, particularly his book, has prepared the ground for civil war because that book will inoculate people against Islam. And there'll be a backlash against Islam and it'll be a military backlash uh, in the next 10 years. In other words, there'll be people, groups, arming themselves militarily in order to re resist the encroachment of theocracy that will slowly but surely creep into Western civilization and culture. So what do we do as Christians? As Christians, you've just got to wake up. You've got to wake up that, that the West um, is in a mess. You, you, the Western politicians need to wake up. You need to abandon political correctness and you need to rediscover your Christian roots. And you need to do it fast. If you don't do it fast, then it's all over. So the Western civilization has to abandon rapidly political correctness and return to the judo Christian roots of Western civilization and culture. You, if you don't do that, you're finished because ultimately this battle of cultures and ideologies is not militarily, ultimately, it's intellectually. You see, political correctness does not have the intellectual strength to resist Islam. The ideology that has the intellectual strength to resist Islam is not political correctness. And Islam has a strong meta-narrative, and because it has a strong meta-narrative, it will advance and take ground away from political correctness. And the only stronger meta-narrative around that can beat Islam is Christianity. So if Western culture does not rapidly, quickly move towards rediscovering Western civilization's roots, Judeo-Christianity, then that vacuum will be there and that vacuum will be filled with things that are not helpful such as Islam, such as a reaction to Islam in Tommy Robinson's book to, avert, to avoid civil war, to avert national and, and crisis within Britain and international crisis within Europe and America, to avoid civil unrest the West needs to return to its judo Christian roots and it needs to do it rapidly whether you're a philosopher a painter an artist whether you are um, a pastor whether you are a politician whether you're a business person whether you're medical whatever sphere of life you are you need to return to your judo Christian roots if you do not return to your judo Christian roots soon then I'm afraid it's going to be all over and we're going to see rapidly in the next five years we're going to see rapid deterioration moral deterioration within the West we're going to see the sapping of the power of political correctness and we're going to see Islam flexing its muscles and when Islam flexes its muscles in the West you can guarantee you will not have free speech and we will see the rise of a military resistance and as sure as day this military resistance is coming 
Tommy Robinson's book has basically given the ideological framework for a countercultural resistance towards Islam. And you will see military develop, you'll see uh, all sorts of military uh, groups forming in the next few years, preparing themselves for the civil war that is going to be coming. That's, that's the reality. That is the reality of what's happening right now. I don't want it to happen. I don't, I, I, I really, really don't. I, I, I kind of like, in many ways, the fact that we all get on with each other. I, I like Muslim people. I like many of the Tommy Robinson's people. That, that I, I like our culture, our way of life. But unfortunately, the political pro co correct brigade are squandering our heritage. And unfortunately, Western civilization is in danger by Islam. Islam will exercise its authority eventually and it will impose, when it gets power, theocracy, which will stop you having your free speech. This is the reality that we have to wake up and face in the next few years. So you can either go down the political correct brigade, but if you do, you're going to see a deterioration, a rapid deterioration in Western civilization where you will see moral anarchy. And if you go with the Islamic, Islamification of the West, you're going to see a rapid deterioration of freedom of speech. The only way to avert the crisis is Western civilization and culture returns back to its judo christian roots so i would encourage you to go onto ravi zachariah ministries ravi zachariah and go and listen to his talks and, and go and go on his website and learn as much from christian about christianity from ravi zachariah's ministry ravi zachariah is a christian apologist and on his site is a lot of information about recovering judo christianity and uh, I would encourage you to go and listen to Ravi Zachariah. But that, those are my thoughts. Islam means you'll lose your free speech, basically. And Western culture is heading that way, uh, unfortunately. Those are my thoughts. And Take it or leave it. But um, that's where we're heading, folks. And uh, the church needs to wake up. The church needs to start preaching getting out, planting churches, the church needs to be getting busy in the West. We need missionaries coming to Europe, to come, come into Britain, uh, come into uh, European countries to do mission work, to plant churches and, 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 and to be getting on with the work of preaching the gospel, sharing the gospel, seeing people saved. Um, that's what we need to be doing uh, and, and, and otherwise the vacuum is going to be filled with Islam. And then we're going to see a reaction to Islam from Tommy Robinson's book. His book is a preparation for... He's not meant it that way. He's just educating people about Islam. But what his book as it will inevitably do is awaken people to see the dangers of Islam and then they will prepare with like with like. So they will prepare for military action in response to to the military action that will come from Islam. There will come a time in the next 10 to 20 years well, when Islam will declare Birmingham a caliphate, Manchester a caliphate, London a caliphate, and then we'll have civil war. That's, that, that is coming. Uh, uh, and if you don't think it's going to happen, then you're naive. So you need to get preaching the gospel, you need to be sharing the gospel, you need to be getting on with the Lord's work now and doing what you can now and you need to be writing books and critiquing Islam, showing that Islam isn't, isn't the way if you're a writer, a philosopher, a theologian. And uh, political correctness is a, is a spent force. It is going to evaporate like the mist against the juggernaut of Islam in the next 10, 10 years. Uh, so that's where we're at. We're in a, a deep, serious crisis. If we think political correctness is bad, we've got nothing compared to what's going to come 
in the next 10 years. So we need to be busy in getting on with what we have to do. We're in a serious, serious, serious situation in Western civilization and culture. Western civilization and culture is, on, is, is collapsing, basically. It's collapsing. America's collapsing and the West is collapsing. And in the midst of that collapse, we need to be getting on preaching the gospel and serving the Lord. Those are my thoughts.